Okay, let's get straight into it. Um, let's do another quick flyover. This time, you know what I'm saying? For this series, I guess we'll just kind of hit up uh, Europe, kind of like Eastern Europe, Northern Europe. There's not a whole lot of cities on the flyover, like most of Africa. You can't really do flyovers on, but a lot of the European cities and North American cities. So there were a few cities in Europe I thought were really interesting, especially, you know, with all the water and rivers and lakes that you see naturally um, in Europe, right? And so, you know, one place I thought was really interesting where, where these two for these two cities here in Denmark, right? So we have um, Copenhagen and Malmo, right? They're like across from each other and it looks like there's possibly like a little bridge um, that connects the two cities, right? And those, I think this, this other country may be even Sweden, right? So as we zoom in here, we kind of have uh, Denmark to the left here <clears throat> and the country of Sweden to the right. And it's always interesting, um, you know, things to take into account if you think about, you know, traveling to Europe, like where the other countries start and where some of the other ones begin. But you can see like Denmark is really close to Germany, right? So there's like Hamburg, Germany here which is also close to like the Netherlands where like Amsterdam is, right? So that's kind of like, I guess like North, Northern Europe, like North Central around this area. So I was just gonna hit a couple of uh, cities in this area in the next couple of videos. So let's, uh, let's just check out Copenhagen for now. I think that's a really cool, um, it looks like a really cool city and a really cool spot. Um, lots of major highways. And like I was mentioning before, lots of water, lots of rivers, just a lot going on here. And, you know, we won't just hop straight into the flyover. Let's zoom in a little bit and kind of check it out. You see like there's an airport over here a lot of green space obviously like this is probably like the downtown area and of course like the bridge that we were talking about that connects these two cities like bam you can kind of see there's like there's even like a land bridge there to kind of help it out so without further ado let's hop into this uh flyover of copenhagen let's do it so of course, off the jump, we're in the water. We're like here in the river. You know, this is kind of like, I guess like the city harbor uh, for Copenhagen. And this design right here, this kind of looks like a flower. This looks awesome. They're saying that this is the Citadel. So I guess it's like some kind of like church um, or something. Uh, yeah, really nice architecture, like everything like in most Europe, most of the buildings are kind of low, but really tight blocks, small blocks. Um, wow, look at this square. They're calling this the Amalienborg Palace. That looks really amazing. Kind of looks like a capital or something as well. Um, and then this is like a very lush classic and this is the Rosenberg castle this looks really cool this looks really nice um, definitely like a classic European castle and then again here we kind of have like a couple of bridges some more water this seems like more of a residential area and then BAM this is the Tycho Brahe planetarium so you got like a cool little planetarium right there in the heart of this city. And there's a lot of like that orange and red vibe going on. Tivoli Gardens, this is awesome. It's like a roller coaster over there. 
That was awesome. This fly this flyover is going by pretty quickly. The Christian Borg Palace. So another palace. Definitely a very classic city. With a bunch of palaces. A lot of classic architecture. Um, and then again, very beautiful uh, as far as the landscape is concerned. And as we, we kind of zoom out, we can kind of see like where where in Copenhagen we were when we were doing the flyover and everything. And you know, I thought this design here, that was like the little heart-shaped uh, thing was really interesting. Um, and as I zoom out, I'm just gonna kind of see like where we were in location to like where that bridge was headed to, um, headed to Sweden. So like downtown Copenhagen is kind of nestled here, like within this like uh, this harbor, or they call this a sound, and it's kind of like nested in here, right next to another city called uh, Fredericksburg, which I, I'm guessing is probably just like a suburb of Copenhagen, since the Copenhagen Business School is in Fredericksburg. Um, that's really cool. Just a lot going on in this area, and so like if we uh, straighten the map out, yeah. So like you can see, like yeah, this is kind of where we were, Fredericksburg. Like this is like downtown Copenhagen, which is a bit of a ways from the actual airport and the bridge. So I guess that's like south of the city. Um, coming in but yeah that's pretty cool that is uh, Copenhagen and maybe next time we'll go across the bridge and check out Malmo I'm guessing it's probably going to be a lot of the same type of architecture uh, the same type of city you can kind of see it's kind of built similarly it's not as nestled in the sound as Copenhagen is you know this is kind of out there a little bit so that'll be interesting to kind of see like what they do here. Um, and I also thought that was interesting that the airport is here. Um, look at them, we'll kind of figure out like where their airport is located. Um, so yeah, let's check that out.